Hello, hi there, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, welcome. My name is Shauna. I'm a real estate agent with Arla Berkshire Hathaway, and today's video is tailored for my sellers. I'm gonna talk to y'all about what are buyers looking for when they're looking at homes to purchase. In other words, you know, what should you do in order to prepare for your home sale? So stay tuned because I'm gonna have some tidbits sprinkled throughout this entire video. Okay, so let's just start with what are buyers looking at when they go to tour a property? Let's say that they've already looked at it online and it's checked all of their location and price it, pricing and bedroom count and all of those factors, checks all those boxes. Now they're in front of your house and they're ready to tour it. So what are some of the things they're gonna look for? I mean, let's start with the exterior appeal. They're definitely looking at the exterior and the interior appeal. And we're gonna talk about some tips and tricks that you can spruce up your interior and exterior later in the video. Secondly, they're gonna be looking at functionality. Um, they're gonna be looking at what is the layout like and is their lifestyle gonna fit with that? Are they gonna be able to entertain here? Are they gonna be able to fit their, you know, their L-shaped couch here? So they're definitely gonna look at the layout and functionality of the place. Sadly, there's really not too much you can do when the layout and the functionality is a little bit unique, um, but what you can do is stage the property very, very efficiently so that it shows off the space to mass to a mass amount of buyers. Staging is what plays into uh, functionality. And just a little tip, I do stage all of my properties for all of my sellers. So uh, keep that in mind. Next thing, this goes without saying, but it's honestly cleanliness. Just making sure that the property is clean is really key. It goes without saying though, if I wanna buy a house, I don't wanna see a little critter running around and I don't wanna see like dirt laying around. I wanna see it in its best light. So another tip pointer here is I do clean all of my properties for all of my sellers. So you don't have to worry about that. Once you've got all your belongings out, I do have a professional come in to So next thing they're gonna be looking at, buyers are gonna be looking at updates, updates, updates. Buyers are loving the modern look these days. They want everything to look nice and clean and crisp and just modern and open. So updates are really important. And that's what this video is primarily about. Just giving y'all some tips on some low cost maintenance uh, updates, update ideas. Lastly, they're gonna be looking at the size and the space of the bedrooms and the closets. These are two things that's a little tough to tell in photos how big a, a space really is. So when they get in person, they're gonna be definitely looking at the size of the bedrooms and the size of the closets, which I'm gonna give y'all a little pointer on that in the video. Uh, last thing the buyers are really, really looking for is the age of the system. So again, just making sure that your systems are up to date or at least look up to date and that they don't need to dish out thousands of dollars right after they move in, at least for a couple of years on these, on these systems. So that's something that they are looking at. All right, so let's get into it. So you know what buyers are looking at. What does that mean for me? That's what we're going to talk about. Let's go ahead and say that you've already determined your next location because that's definitely key. You want to make sure before you start doing anything that you know where you're moving to, where you're resting your head at night. So make sure that you've already started exploring your options in that new location and make sure it's something that you can align with. So now what do we do? Now we figured out where we want to move to. So now we start packing. Go ahead, start packing, get those boxes and go ahead and start consolidating as much as possible. The more that yourself as well as the realtor can see, the more tips we can give you in order to prepare the property. So donate or sell any of that furniture that you don't plan on taking with you, go ahead and sell and donate it and sit on pillows. I'm serious, if you can, the more you can get out of the property, the better it's and the less stressful it's gonna be for you when the time really comes to get that property ready for the market. So donate everything, sell everything and pack everything except for of course what you need. <laughs> now we're gonna start going into some of the touch-ups. So of course, fresh paint, um, everyone will tell you that, so I won't spend a lot of time here, but definitely fresh paint goes a long way. Updating your lighting. This is really, really key. Buyers are looking whether it's natural light or artificial light. They are looking for light. So definitely making sure that you update your lighting and there are so many different ways you can do it. First, just update the light fixture because light fixtures are, you can get some really cute ones for under 150 and it can definitely modernize the space and make it look new. Also, replacing the light bulbs in that light fixture with a brighter hue light bulb is really key. And lastly, if you have a small, you know, if you don't have a lot of light in that fixture, for instance, you have a three bulb track light. Let's go ahead and replace that with a five bulb track light. We want as much light as possible. Ready? so if you have carpet, honestly, DC buyers are not really looking for carpet. 
but if you have it, that's all right. Just make sure it looks as clean as possible. I want it spotless because I want it to look like it's brand new and that there's not other people's hair and life living in that carpet. So make sure that it looks brand new. And if the carpet is in disrepair and there's no cleaning it because it has so many you know, stains or you have a dog who tore into it, that's okay. Um, I would just recommend replacing the carpet with some LVT or LVP, luxury vinyl planks. Luxury vinyl planks look very modern, very new, and it doesn't cost you a ton. Now, I will say, you know, depending on the property, I don't want to just tell you to start ripping up carpet. Just speak with your agent first because every property is unique and requires different things. For instance, I had this single family house in Berlief that was sold. It had hardwoods throughout the entire house, but had carpet in the basement and only some wear and tear in that carpet. We had it cleaned, and even though there were still some scuffs in the carpet, we did not replace it because it was in the basement. Just making sure that, I, I mean, if you have carpet in the living room, it looks horrible, but if you have it in certain parts of the house where it's not a big deal, don't worry about it. Just make sure it's clean. So now we wanna keep up with the modern updates. Let's talk about the kitchen. This one is big. I've done this with so many of my listings and that's just paint the kitchen cabinets. Um, early 2000s, a lot of people had the the cherry wooden cabinets in their kitchen, which is such good quality, but people are looking for those white cabinets. It just, it's, you know, simple, goes with things, and also maybe an accent color. Sometimes there are some accent colors that you can play into the kitchen that will make it look really fun, but overall, I would paint those old outdated cabinets a white and I would also update the hardware. So get new handles for everything, but make sure that it matches the kitchen sink and that there is a cohesive look in the kitchen. So if you're gonna replace one thing, make sure it matches whatever you're not replacing or replace it all. As well as tile, tile work too. Tile is just making sure it's really, really clean. Um, if the kitchen doesn't already have a backsplash, install a backsplash. It doesn't cost that much money to do so, and it makes the kitchen look so modern, so new. Now, we did say that buyers are also looking at the exterior appeal of the property. So, we all know that landscaping goes such a long way. But let's say it's in the thick of winter, which it is now. We can't catch a break with the snow here in DC this year. If it's winter and you can't really do much with the appeal, you can always put in pine. Pine, does, it, it lasts year round and it's really pretty. But let's move past landscaping and let's talk about the front door. You can paint that front door a really fun color. Think about it, colors are tied to our emotions. And if it's a really fun color, uh, door, you sort of get excited when you walk up to the property. You can't wait to see what's inside of it. So just painting the door a really fun color, give it an accent, will definitely go a long way, but consult with your realtor because I don't want you to paint it um, like bright green or something. It has to make sense. So make sure that you talk with your realtor about the trends and what she thinks or he thinks would be the best color for your place. Lastly, I would say get rid of those old window treatments. Get those old blinds out of here, put in some new blinds. It goes a long way and it's not expensive. So with all that being said, you have gone ahead and you've done this prep work. Now you wanna go ahead and hire an agent because an agent is gonna walk through with that buyer's eye and they're gonna get really nitty gritty and specific for your property. So make sure you hire an agent, one that you feel comfortable with, and just a couple of pointers if you do hire me or you'd like to interview me is I do clean all of my properties for my clients so I have a professional come in. Let me rephrase that. I don't clean it, but I have it cleaned professionally by a cleaner who I pay and you don't have to worry about having it cleaned. Also, I do take care of all the staging for my properties. So you don't have to worry about figuring out what's the best use of the space. How should I stage this? Should, should I leave this for the staging? I don't know. We take care of all of that. I hope you guys were able to get some tips. I didn't want to make this video too long. It's quite general, but it's definitely a good start. Go ahead and start looking through these things in your house. Make sure you check these boxes. If you check these boxes, you're pretty set and you're ready for a realtor to go ahead and walk through. It's okay. If you haven't checked these boxes and you want a realtor to walk through, have a realtor walk through because a realtor can get really personal with your property and you know you're doing what's best for you. I'm happy to help if you need me. My information will be right here. All right. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see y'all in the next one.